to handle the pressure, yeah. wear that big target, and wear it well. Well, LSU goes to Kentucky and loses. Cal flops at home against Oregon State. First, the loss by LSU. Now, you recall the Florida game, those gambles on fourth and one by Les Miles, handing the ball off to Jacob Hester in the game-winning drive, how gutsy he was being praised for making those calls. Didn't work out. Triple overtime after missing a field goal in regulation that would have won it from 57. Now they give it to Hester. So far, so good. Bottom of the third overtime. Six yards, but then second down, short gain. Third down, nothing. On fourth down, they go for it. Don't get it. Great stand by Kentucky. Yeah. They've been getting gashed up the middle on the running plays, but yeah. interesting calls. Les Miles going to feel the heat yeah. over that. He was a hero last week. He's a bum this week. Huh? Welcome to the coaching profession. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, let me say one thing about Kentucky. Great team effort, but also about Coach Rich Brooks. Remember this, and this is a great, great lesson for all administrators out there. If you give a guy a good foot football coach like Rich, Rich Brooks enough time, he'll turn you into a winner. They were trying to fire this guy a couple of years ago, and here he is, takes him to a bowl last year, beats number one for Kentucky to beat the number one team in the nation. Absolutely. That is amazing. Great job, Rich Brooks. Yeah, and absolutely. And You're right. It's great to see the patience there within the administration, but i got to go back to Kentucky on a Thursday night just a few weeks ago against South Carolina, and to see them play today. Listen, they got LSU's best game on the road. LSU played very well, well enough to win this football game. But Kentucky, without their starting tailback, without their backup tailback, they're playing with a guy that we haven't even seen much of this year, making courageous plays. But at the end of the day, it came down to Andre Woodson's leadership. He lost to South Carolina. He was out of the Heisman race. He beats LSU. And all of a sudden, maybe he's the front runner for the Heisman going into the Florida game next week. So Cal takes the field at home against an Oregon State team that looked awful early in the season. But if you recall, beat USC a year ago and shook up the chase. It's all there for Cal, except 